Okay, let's try this trig question here. The first thing it says, if cos x plus sin x equals k, express the following in terms of k. Well, I don't know about this k thing or this thing, but I do know that this looks like the cosine of two angles subtracted. Now, I've got, there's a formula sheet that says when you subtract the cosine of alpha minus beta on your calculator, you're supposed to, on, on the formula sheet, what you're supposed to do is go cosine of alpha, cosine of beta, first times the second, plus the sine of alpha times the sine of beta. I'll just do that. If they said with, with uh, without a calculator, then you would have to write 1 over root 2. But if they just sold cos 45, my calculator tells me it's root 2 over 2. The sine of 45 is root 2 over 2. Hey, look at that. A common factor. So I pull it out, root 2 over 2 times the cos x plus sine x. But, oh, that cos x plus sine x, they said that was equal to k. So we just write a k there. And then we've done it. We've expressed this whole thing, cos of x minus 45 degrees, in terms of k, root 2 over 2 times k. Now, the first time I did this video, I thought about doing this a different way. There's only one way you can go tan theta. We're going to try and take this left-hand side and turn it into the right-hand side. There's only one way to get tan theta. You've got to make it sine over cosine. And only one way for sine 2 theta, it's 2 sine theta cos theta. But you've got three choices here. Well, I'm going to show you the choice they made first. They did this. First, they went, okay, um, tangent is sine over cos. And sine 2 theta is equal to 2 sine theta cos theta. Well, we'd get two marks for that. Now, they want to add these two things here. Now, they don't show in this memo. If I want to add two fractions, I've got to make this denominator here the same as over here. So what's missing? 2 sine is missing. So let's multiply the top and bottom by 2 sine theta. Well, now the bottom's the same, 2 sine theta cos theta, and we get 2 sine squared theta here. Well, isn't this cos 2 theta? We have three things to choose from. One of them is 1 minus 2 sine squared theta. That would be pretty nice. That would be pretty nice because we'd get 1 plus 1 is 2. 2 divided by 2 would be just 1. It would cancel. And we get minus 2 sine squared plus 2 sine squared would equal 0. So we'd get the right-hand side. So there you go. But this is the way I thought of it. Whenever I see a plus 1, I like to use the one that has a minus 1 in it. So instead of cos 2 theta, I thought 2 cos squared minus 1 uh, plus 1. That minus 1 plus 1 would go. And now I'd have the 2 divided by 2 would cancel. And I'd have cos squared over cos is just cos theta. So now I've got this. Cos theta over sine theta plus sine theta over cos theta. What am I supposed to do with that? Well, I can just multiply the bottom together to get a common denominator. Ooh, that's my answer. But now we cross multiply. So cos times cos, that's cos squared. Sine times sine is sine squared. Sine squared plus cos squared. That just equals 1. I guess they're both pretty, right? I kind of like mine. Looks a little bit simpler, but there you go.